Hello everyone, this is Mike McCloy with Twin Harbor Web Solutions. Uh, it's November 18th, 2009. Today we are happy to announce that we have launched the latest version of Waypoint, which includes some, some significant upgrades to page editing, workflow, and some other items. And um, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you a little bit about what's new. So I'm going to go ahead and log into this website. This is a Waypoint Commerce website. It's just a simple website we use for demos, but it'll work much in the same way as your own. Go ahead and log in here. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot over to the contact page. And you'll see when you do log in, the Waypoint menu bar is this pretty much the same as before. There's a little animated effect on here, which is the only thing that's really different. Other than that, it's the buttons are all in the same places as they were before, so there's nothing to worry about there. Um, what I am going to do now is click Edit Page, as you would, to edit your site. And this is where the major change is. Uh, what you're used to before was always to have a panel on the right side which had all the components that you could add to your website. We've done away with that now in an effort to make things a little simpler and below each area where you have these different components, each editable area, you have a new button here that says add a widget. So I'm going to go ahead and click add a widget and what that does is pops open a window where you can select from a list of all the available widgets that you have for your site. I'm going to go ahead and just click on, let's see, a rich text editor in here somewhere. There we are and you'll see it adds a rich text editor. I actually already had one, so I'll just get rid of one. And that's the same as before. You click the little X and it will get rid of one. So now we just have one rich text editor. That's good. And to edit it, in the same position as where the edit button used to be, there's just a gear. It's the same button, different icon. I'm going to go ahead and click the gear. And for the rich text editor, you'll see a new rich text editor pops up. Very similar to the last one, most of the buttons work the same. There's some added uh, support for different browsers. It now works well in Safari and in Explorer version 8. Um, the previous version had some issues with that. It's also exporting XHTML, which is, in a nutshell, a better version of HTML code. It just makes cleaner code. Um, so we can add some text in here. Go ahead and click Save here down at the bottom when you're done. And it updates your page just like it did before. So you should be pretty familiar with that. Uh, the other major update is for dragging things around. Um, if you've tried to drag things around in the past, there's been, depending on the way your site's laid out, sometimes it was a little jumpy, things bounced around, but the latest version of our drag and drop software makes it pop around a lot easier. As you can see, when I just drag this around, it just everything just sort of pops right in place. It's, it's more intuitive. Um, so I can go ahead and move this over here, and you'll notice when I, as soon as I drag that first item, a bar appeared here on top and what that essentially does is it lets you move around the items on your page get them all set up the way you want them to go before you save anything so once I'm happy with it let's say I want to put that over here I can go ahead and click save layout changes now it's going to bounce back to the server and save everything in the database and those changes are live go back to view page and there's everything set the way it was um, a couple other little items let's go back to edit page here for a moment and what I'm going to do is add, if you click settings on other components, sometimes you will get a set of properties. So, for example, uh, the edit contact form. This is not something you would edit with rich text because it's a widget that does something else. So, um, when you click it, you're going to get any number of properties. So, in this case, it's the, it's the contact form. So, I have all the options for this contact form right here. So, in this case, what boxes I want to show to the user what information I want to collect when this person contacts us. Let's say we don't want first name and last name. I can turn those off and just click name. And then once I'm done, I can scroll all the way down and click save. And likewise, the same same changes are made. Now it just says name instead of first name and last name. So that's just one of you know the many components that you have available. And in a nutshell, that's what you should be aware of.